The square root of a is defined as one number squared give us a. Let's think about how do we find the square root of a natural number, such as square root of natural two. The very first mention of trying to solve this dates all the way back to the first century. In 50 AD, the Greek mathematician Hieron of Alexandria studied the volume of a pyramid. In his solution, he found that he had to take square root of 81 minus 114. He deemed this impossible and discarded the problem. In the late 16th century, Raphael Bombardi introduced a type of multiplication where a number multiplied by itself could equal negative one. Then, in 1777, Leonard Euler assigned the symbol i to stand for square root of negative one. He called this the imaginary number. We can break the square root of eight into the square root of four, which is two, and the square root of two, which is irrational. Like the square root of eight, he separated the square root of negative nine into the square root of nine, which is three, and the square root of negative one, which he assigned the value of i. Thus, the square root of negative nine is three i. In 1806, John Robert Argand helped to visualize imaginary numbers as a perpendicular axis to the real number line. For example, we can plot two i on this plane. Today, the plane is called the Argand diagram. In 1831, Carl Friedrich Gauss made Argand's idea popular and introduced it to many people. In addition, Gauss introduced a plus b i notation and called this a complex number. It was complex because it consisted of both real and imaginary parts. So next time you see a natural number under square root, don't be afraid to use your imagination.